guys so in this video i'll be showing you how i crochet this cardigan that i'm wearing right now i actually showed this cardigan when it was unfinished in my previous video the everything that i've crocheted i mentioned that i was still unsure on what to do with it whether to make a matching top with it so that it looks like the kendall jenner top and cardigan set or to embroider flowers on it or to add puffy flowers on it because i've been seeing a lot of it on pinterest and as you can tell this is what i ended up going with but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Anyways, I can always take off the flowers if I ever get bored of it, so it's all good. Yeah, let's just get on with the tutorial. So here's the list of the materials you're gonna need for the yarn. I ended up going with this color and I ended up using 15 of these for the cardigan itself which is approximately 750 grams of yarn and an extra 100 grams for the flowers. You're also gonna need a 4.5 millimeter hook, a darning needle as well as a measuring tape. Okay, so you're gonna need to make the front panels which are 34 by 18 centimeters, the back panel which is 34 by 52 centimeters, and the sleeves which are 48 by 40 centimeters. So for the sleeves, front and back panels, I'm only gonna be using waistcoat stitch and I'll include the link to the tutorial in the description box. So for the front panel, you're going to want to start with 29 chains or approximately 18 centimeters and then continue with the waistcoat stitch until you reach 73 rows or approximately 34 centimeters. For the back panel, you're going to want to start with 81 chains or approximately 52 centimeters and then continue with the waistcoat stitch until you reach 73 rows or approximately 34 centimeters. For the sleeves, you're gonna want to start with 66 chains or approximately 40 centimeters and then continue with the waistcoat stitch until you reach 104 rows or approximately 48 centimeters. For all the ribbings, I'm gonna be using half double crochet back loops only. Again, I'll include the links to the tutorial in the description box. For the bottom ribbing, you're gonna want to start with 9 chains and then continue with the half double crochet back loops only until it's approximately 88 centimeters long. For the cuffs, you're gonna want to start with 11 chains, continue with the half double crochet back loops only until it's approximately 18 centimeters long or until it's about the size of your wrist and then sew the ends together. For the middle ribbing, start with 6 chains, continue with the half double crochet back loops only until it's approximately 93 centimeters long. Alright, so this is what it should look like once you've sewn the front panels, back panel, as well as the sleeves together. I'll include the link to the tutorial on how to sew everything together in the description box. So these are the two front panels and you're gonna want to attach it to the back panel. So you're gonna want to attach it at the top part here. So for the sleeves, you're gonna want to sew the ends together right here so that it forms a sleeve. And then you're going to want to attach the sleeve to both the front panel as well as the back panel. And then you're going to want to sew the sides of the front panel and the back panel together right here. For the ribbing, I'm going to start with the bottom ribbing. This is where you're going to want to attach it to, basically the area under the two front panels as well as the back panel. To do that, I'm just using a darning needle here. I'm taking the darning needle and passing it through the loops on the lower part of the cardigan ones. And then I'm passing the needle through the ribbing ones. And then you're just gonna want to repeat the process. I just pass the needle through the cardigan part once and then I'm passing the needle through the ribbing. And it should look like this once you're done sewing all the bottom ribbing to the cardigan. Next is the middle ribbing. You're gonna want to sew it on the sides of the front panels and all the way down to the sides of the bottom ribbing as well. Okay, so the way I sew on the middle ribbing is similar to the way I sew on the bottom ribbing. But instead of passing the needle through the loops, I'm just randomly inserting the needle because the loops are like parallel to the way I'm sewing, if that makes sense. But yeah, then I pass the needle through the ribbing part and just repeat the process of passing the needle through the cardigan part and then the ribbing part until I've covered the entire area. And it should look like this once you're done. 
Okay, next for the cuff, as you can see, the sleeve is obviously wider than the cuff itself. So basically, you want to bunch up the sleeve so that it fits around the cuff. To sew on the cuff, I did it a similar way I did the bottom ribbing. But here, I'm passing the needle through more loops at once so that it covers a wider area of the sleeve. And then I would pass the needle through the cuff only once and it's a smaller section compared to the sleeve as you can see and that way I was able to go through the entire sleeve area which is wider and be able to fit it around the cuff which is more narrow and it should look like this once you're done it kind of looks like a puffy sleeve For the flowers, I ended up using this lighter pink for the petals and I used this darker pink for the middle part of the flower. I'll include the link to the tutorial on how to make these flowers in the description box. And this is what it looks like once I was done with the petals. I really really like how puffy they are. Here I was just figuring out how I wanted to position the flowers and to count how many more flowers did I need to make. And this is what it should look like once you're done with the middle part of the flowers. I ended up using a total of 19 flowers and then I just sew them onto the cardigan one by one and it should look like this once you're done. Alright, so for sizing, just for reference, my height is around 170 centimeters, and I usually wear a size extra small or small. I'm not exactly sure what sizes this cardigan would fit because I didn't base it off of a size chart. I just based it off of my body measurement, but you can totally adjust this to the size that you want it to be. This is cropped, so if you want to make it longer, you can just add more rows to the front and back panels. If you want to make the sleeves longer, you can always add more rows to the sleeves. Or if you want to make this part wider, you can just start with a longer chain for both the front and back panels. Or if you want to make the sleeve wider or more narrow, you can always just adjust the size of the starting chain. Just make it longer or shorter according to how wide you want it to be. Or if you have a cardigan or jacket at home that you already like the fit of, you can just totally measure it and replicate the measurements on the cardigan. 